Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Pal World. In this video, I am going to show you how to get a ridiculous number of Lift Monk effigies or whatever you want to call them. The little things that can actually boost your ability to catch the actual pals in the game. Now, it's actually a really easy thing to do, and it's actually something that <clears throat> kind of conveniently is uh, something that's hard to use other times of the day. But basically, the strategy is, is we're going to go ahead and start going to a certain area at nighttime. Now, once you go to the certain area at nighttime, you're going to find a ridiculous amount of stuff. So it doesn't matter where on the map you go. Let's just start there. All you're looking for is areas with cliffs. As soon as you find areas with cliffs, you're going to notice lift monk effigies all over the place. You will also need a flying creature. I have a quivern and this thing is going to be very useful. But basically all we're going to do is we're going to go up right now. This is why it's so strong at nighttime because lift monk effigies glow. I can count just in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I haven't even moved yet. So <clears throat> Lift Monk effigies are incredibly easy to gather. And you can see also you can kind of go to those areas uh, quicker just by just changing your flight paths and stuff like that. But it's really useful to just hunt these things at nighttime. Now, the reason that I suggest doing this at nighttime is because they glow so much. You can literally just gather as many as you want to and and just go after everything. So it's an incredibly useful strategy because it basically allows you to get. I mean, and by the way, this is one of the most useful things in the game. Once you have a high number of lift monk effigies, it raises your catch production after the poke, uh, the, the pal, pokey pal, whatever you want to call it, is inside of the actual pal ball. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a really cheesy strategy because if you just fly around, let's say you spend like an hour or two, right? getting these uh, pal effigies, right? Just so you can see, there's one right there. And they're usually really close together and they're all over the cliffs. So you wanna specifically spend nighttime doing this. Now, obviously it's just about to turn to daytime because I was waiting all night. But during the daytime, I, the reason I wanted to kind of do it right before daytime, it gets really difficult to actually see these. Notice how it's almost impossible to see all the ones that I was talking about. You have to be really close in order to see them. So you want to do this at nighttime and definitely abuse this strategy as much as possible because it can increase by like 25, 30 percent the ability to actually catch your pals in this game. And all you have to do is go up to your um, statue, the one of Anubis, um, and that guy will basically give you an increased amount and an increased ability to catch more and more and more games. Now, very useful strategy. And again, at nighttime is the best way that you can do this. Because if you do it at any other time of day, you can see that I'm going around right now, right? And everything's green. So it's hard to notice and it's hard to spot this stuff. But if you do it at nighttime, you can see all of this stuff. Now, it's easy to see eggs during the day. So that's one thing that's kind of an advantage during the day. But at night, those Lift Monk effigies are so much easier to spot. So you definitely want to try and perform it during the actual night time. Now, again, hopefully this video helps you out. And it's a quick little thing. If you haven't used that trick before, I suggest it. Now, obviously, Nightwing is probably one of your early game pals that you want to catch, but you should quickly move on to a Quivern like I have right now because they're so much faster. Even when they're running on the ground, um, they are just so much faster and they have so much more stamina than a Nightwing does. So it's going to save you a ton of time overall. So and that just allows you to get these more uh, tech points as well. And those tech points are a huge advantage. So definitely take advantage of those. Anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.